jump scares. I think we're back in business. <laughs> they could be some of the best parts of a movie, whether it's a thriller, adventure movie, <laughs> or a horror movie. <laughs> they are probably some of the best parts you remember from that film. So that's why I can't wait to talk about the best jump scares of all times in our opinions. Today we are filming live from an old creepy theater. So join us to talk about these crazy jump scares. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it! You're ignorant! <laughs> it scared you. Dude, you scared me. I do. I do that. And today I'm going to scare you with our top jump scares of all time. Let's get to it. Are you ready, Jason Dean? I knew what you did last summer. As our killer stalks and haunts the teens that left him for dead, it's the scene where Sarah Michelle Gillard is trying to escape the killer, running through a clothing shop that terrifies me. It's a classic setup for a suspenseful scene. There's all these mannequins with plastic covers over them, and you know the killer's under one of them. The Ring. This movie has creepy imagery all over it, especially the one where the girl comes out of the TV. But there's a scene where a mother talks about finding her dead daughter in a closet that freaks me out every time. I saw her face. Man, did I jump the first time I saw this. And by the way, what the hell happened to this girl? Dude, that was a good one, right? That was good, right? Yeah. It was, that was really uh, good. That was me, gentlemen, good. let me, can I please interrupt you? Uh, okay, guys, my name is Mark King. I am the projectionist usher of this beautiful movie establishment theater, making the movie come on the screen. I have a scary movie scene from a movie that I like called Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Sorry. Sorry. When I was projecting the opening night of Pee Wee's Big Adventure, I saw one of the scariest jump scenes I've ever seen. There's a part when Pee Wee sees is getting a ride from a truck driver. She tells a scary tale of a large marge. It's a classic ghost story, but it works on every level. Burning wreck. It looked like this. <laughs> the stop motion claymation face that is truly incredible and sends chills down my spine to this day as I sleep at night. That was good, man. That was good. It was good. Excuse me, gentlemen, excuse me. So sorry to interrupt again. I have one more, one more thing to show you. Being Friday the 13th today, as I do the projecting screen, I love Friday the 13th. It's the end of the movie, and our killer is dead. I won't spoil who the killer is, but our main hero is on a raft, feeling like it's the safest spot to be in. She wakes up in a peaceful mood, touching the water with her beautiful hands, soft and sexy hands, thinking everything is okay. And that's when it happens. <laughs> Me and my usherman did I jump out of my seats and I remember those beautiful hands in the back of my mind that kind of saved me from jumping on my skin. And I realized this is one of the best jump scenes of all time. So please continue with your video. I might have another one. Not right now, but please continue. Mr. Salty, who the hell is this guy? Remember when you told me to get the feeder for free? That's the reason why. Oh, well, that makes sense. All right. He wants to add to the reviews. I'm very sorry. So now he's adding to our reviews? Yes, yes, he's adding to our reviews. I apologize. Right. Uh, can we get to the next one? Let, let's let's go to the next one. Let's go. Here we go. Wes Craven's new nightmare. Freddy is back for the seventh time, but this time he is entering the dreams of the actors who actually starred in his films. He is much more menacing and terrifying now than he ever was before. Our protagonist is awoken by an earthquake, but something seems off, and she goes to explore. She looks around and sees a coffee mug broken. This is a clever distraction. Miss me. I believe this jump scene works great. Hell, I copied this jump scare so many times in my high school short films.
What an amazing jump scare. That one always gets me. What do you got next, Mr. Saltine? This one's really scary. I think you're gonna love it. Mulholland Drive is a wild David Lynch movie that has a jump scare that comes out of nowhere. You get these two guys in an adorable old school restaurant. One of the men is talking about the dreams he's been having and the camera slowly moves around in a dreamlike state. The guy explains the dream to his buddy and the other man decides to take him outside to explore his fear. As we walk outside, you're confused on what you're in for. The pace is slow, and David Lynch creates a very interesting atmosphere that you have no idea what is coming. Gosh darn it, I acted like the character in this movie the first time I saw this jump scare. David Lynch, you got me. Excuse me, guys. Please. Please, I don't want to interrupt again, but I do. Hey, guys, I saw this flashing light in the sky, and it made me think of one of my number one scares. You guys, you guys, you gotta see this. I love this. Signs. Almost at the moment when we watch this television news of a seven-year-old's birthday party in Brazil, we truly realize what is going on. Joaquin Phoenix is intensely watching the footage that is unfolding. It's all shot in a home movie video camera, which makes it seem all the more real. The intensity builds as we watch the scene, and all these little children are getting in the way of the camera. And Joaquin Venus is out of the way. Move, children. Vamanos. Out of the way, on the late children. That was one of my number one scares. In those signs, in those signs all the time. But now, let's get to number one. The Exorcist 3 is one of the most underrated sequels of all time, and those who know it, know what I mean. But it also has one of the best jump scares, in my opinion. We follow a character we barely know looking around a hospital room, and she's getting scared by a glass of ice. There it is, guys. That's the dip. No, I'm just kidding. Now let's get to the real goods. Now, some jump scares use motion or camera tricks or edits and sound design to create that ultimate jump scare. This one uses stillness. You're in this hospital with this nurse I showed earlier, and there's a lot of action going on in this hallway. And you're confused. Why are we taking so long with this damn shot? And the shot keeps dragging on, and you're looking at every part of this scene, analyzing it. You have a feeling there's going to be a jump scene, but you really don't know. I swear, this thing scared the hell out of me. There have been many amazing jump scares in film history, but this one takes the juicy cake for me. The time it took to create the suspense, and the craftsmanship that this director put into this scene, he nailed it out of the park. I think that's a pretty solid list. What do you say, Mr. Salt? I thought it was very solid. What do you say, Mr. Projection, dude? All right, Murphy. Anyways, subscribe and like to the channel. Definitely. We'll see you guys around and, um, What the hell happened to the projection guy? Uh, Mr. Did that? Mr. Dean, I forgot to mention. Not only did I get this place for free, um, it's also haunted. Sorry. That's what happens when you get stuff off Craigslist, I guess. Um, Mr. Saltine? I, I'm sorry, this place is literally haunted. Right. I, I know, don't, it, it doesn't feel right to me either.